Hello students, welcome to the lecture on environmental pollution and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Explain the environmental pollution, define the causes of pollution, discuss the global environmental hazards to human health, describe the impacts on human health of environmental pollution, explain the control of environmental pollution. Let's start with the concept of environmental pollution. Amongst the developing countries, India is the foremost nation to take note of degradation of environment. In 1972, in the World Environmental Conference held at Stockholm, our government declared that it is their responsibility to control pollution in India. Perhaps India was the foremost country in third worlds to implement rigorously pollution legislation both for air and water. We accepted the stipulated levels of the pollutants in act designated as maximum permissible level to be implemented in successive stages in few years. Within India, Maharashtra state was the front runner to enact Water Pollution and Control Act in 1962. This was followed by passing of Comprehensive Environmental Protection Bill for Prevention of Air Pollution in 1983. Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh were the first states in Indian Union to have Pollution Control Board with attached analytical laboratories. Pollution is the introduction of contaminants into an environment that causes instability, disorder, harm or discomfort to the ecosystem, that is, physical systems or living organisms. Pollution can take the form of chemical substances or energy such as noise, heat or light energy. Pollutants, the elements of pollution, can be foreign substances or energies or naturally occurring. When naturally occurring, they are considered contaminants when they exceed natural levels. Pollution is often classed as point source or non-point source pollution.
Let us now discuss the types of environmental pollution. There are two types of the cause of pollution, natural and man-made. Natural pollution occurs naturally and would not cause excessive harm to our lives due to its regeneration ability. While the man-made pollution is caused by human activities and hard to get rid of, the backbones of man-made pollution are human population and technology. Naturally, human needs contact to the environment. We get resources from nature. This is for the sake of living. By the increase of human population, the contact is getting more intensive because needs are increasing. Pollution is a growing pain. Pollution is not a problem that came suddenly from the sky. It is our fault and has been a part of our life through many years. We must be wise in managing our resources and take positive action towards preventing any forms of pollution to the environment. Make the world a better place to live. The environment is made up of systems, cycles and specialized relationships between living and non-living elements. When everything is working the way it should be, all the living organisms within the environment, including humans, are healthy and thriving. But when something harmful is introduced to the cycle or part of the cycle is disrupted, somehow it can cause a chain reaction of problems right through the rest of the system. These changes can really hurt the health and well-being of living organisms. One of these negative changes is pollution which is the result of unnatural elements entering the environment. Anything that is harmful to the environment is pollution. Litter, car exhaust, motor oil, used tires, smoke and chemicals, all of these can have an instant or a gradual impact on the health of our earth. Land pollution. Most of the pollution on land comes from litter. People toss away garbage instead of disposing of it properly, which clogs up the land, attracts pests such as insects and rodents, and even harms the soil and the critters that live there if it contains chemicals. If garbage kills the plants in an area by covering them up, it affects the food chain since green plants are the start of every chain. It also affects the air quality since plants help clean the air air pollution. Some pollutants that enter the air come from natural sources. For example, when a volcano erupts, volcanic ash blasts into the air and can remain there for years. Other natural sources of air pollution include smoke from forest fires and dust and sand from storms. Water pollution. When sewage, oil, chemicals and other pollutants enter the water cycle, it can be devastating and even deadly. Sediments that collect in the water from trash or chemicals in the water prevent fishes from filtering oxygen through their gills and they can suffocate. When the dissolved oxygen in the water drops below a certain level, 2 to 5 parts per million gallons of water, many types of fish and aquatic animals can't survive. Now moving on to the next topic, we will study the causes of pollution. The ultimate cause of pollution is human activity itself. Pollution is a human contribution to nature. Science has evolved technologies and technologies have helped the human welfare. In the process, the pollution has been a part of technology and therefore a part of human miseries. Human activities mainly include industries for various human needs directly and indirectly, agriculture for food production and industrial needs, healthcare for health of human beings and animals, transport for mobility of human beings. Soil pollution. Soil pollution involves the contamination of soil by the release of harmful substances into the soil. Unlike air pollution, which has a direct effect on human lives, 
soil pollution causes an indirect damage to humans and other animals. Causes of Soil Pollution Soil pollution is mainly caused by the release of industrial waste. This waste is directly incorporated into the soil by large industries and factories. Soil pollution is also caused by human acts as mining and deforestation etc. Water pollution The 75% of the Earth's surface is covered with water and more than half of the total population of Earth species resides in water. Causes of water pollution Just like air and soil pollution, water pollution is caused by the direct incorporation of hazardous pollutants. The sources of these pollutants are yet again the large industries and factories that dispose of their waste in lakes and ponds. Noise pollution Unlike other, the above-mentioned types of pollution does not involve hazardous chemicals or their incorporation into the environment. Rather, noise pollution is the increase in the rate of noise in the environment. Cause of noise pollution Noise pollution is caused by the moving vehicles, man-made machines and loud music. Let's know the meaning of global environmental hazards to human health. Exposure to chemical agents in the environment in air, water, food and soil has been implicated in numerous adverse effects from cancer to lung disease to brain damage to birth defects. Some evidence is ironclad, some is suggestive at best. Although the acute effects such as poisonings are the best understood, it seems clear that hazardous pollutants contribute to the large and growing toll of chronic conditions such as cancers and heart disease. Body of Evidence Environmental pollutants arise from many sources and exposures may occur through many different routes. Many occur on the job where workers are exposed to doses typically much higher than those encountered in the ambient environment. Although occupational exposures are a major source of ill health globally, this subject is outside the purview of this section which focuses on chemicals in the ambient environment. Ecosystems and Health There is growing concern amongst many natural scientists that human interventions are altering the capacity of ecosystems to provide their goods, example, fresh water, food, pharmaceutical products, etc., and services, example, purification of air, water, soil, sequestration of pollutants, etc. Ecosystem disruption can impact on health in a variety of ways and through complex pathways. Lead poisoning Lead is present in products used for everyday life. It was used in paints until 1970. In petrol, it is used as tetraethyl lead. It is commonly found in sealing dust at home. People working in industries using lead in any form are exposed to it. It is found in solder and ceramic glaze. At home, it is found in TV sets computer monitors, cosmetics like lipsticks, nail polish and even in binds. Lead poisoning is also called plumbism. This is because of the ill effect of lead and lead containing materials on various organs. Lead has no beneficial effects and children and women are most vulnerable. The World Health Organization WHO estimates that 1.2 crore people are overexposed to lead and 99% of the most serious cases are in the developing world. Over the last three decades, there has been increasing global concern over the public health impacts attributed to environmental pollution, in particular the global burden of disease. The World Health Organization WHO estimates 
that about a quarter of the diseases facing mankind today occur due to prolonged exposure to environmental pollution. Most of these environment-related diseases are however not easily detected and may be acquired during childhood and manifested later in adulthood. Health Impacts of Air Pollution Since the onset of the Industrial Revolution, there has been a steady change in the composition of the atmosphere, mainly due to the combustion of fossil fuels used for the generation of energy and transportation. Air pollution is a major environmental health problem affecting the developing and the developed countries alike. The effects of air pollution on health are very complex as there are many different sources and their individual effects vary from one to the other. It is not only the ambient air quality in the cities but also the indoor air quality in the rural and the urban areas that are causing concern. In fact, in the developing world, the highest air pollution exposures occur in the indoor environment Air pollutants that are inhaled have serious impacts on human health affecting the lungs and the respiratory system. They are also taken up by the blood and pumped all round the body. Indoor air pollution can be particularly hazardous to health as it is released in close proximity to people. It is stated that a pollutant released indoors is many times more likely to reach the lung than that released outdoors. In the developing countries, a fairly large portion of the population is dependent on biomass for their energy requirements. These include wood, charcoal, agricultural residue and animal waste. Open fires used for cooking and heating are commonly found in the household both in the rural and the urban areas. The stove is often at floor level, adding to the risk of accident and the hygiene factor. In addition, they are often not fitted with a chimney to remove the pollutants. In such households, the children and women are most likely to be affected as they are the group that spends more time indoors. The main pollutant in this environment is the SPM. Health Impact of Specific Air Pollutants Some of these gases can seriously and adversely affect the health of the population and should be given due attention by the concerned authority. The gases mentioned below are mainly outdoor air pollutants, but some of them can and do occur indoor depending on the source and the circumstances. Tobacco Smoke Tobacco smoke generates a wide range of harmful chemicals 
and is a major cause of ill health as it is known to cause cancer not only to the smoker but affecting passive smokers too. Biological pollutants. These are mostly allergens that can cause asthma, hay fever and other allergic diseases. Volatile organic compounds. Volatile compounds can cause irritation of the eye, nose and throat. In severe cases, there may be headaches, nausea and loss of coordination. In the longer run, some of them are suspected to cause damage to the liver and other parts of the body. Lead. Prolonged exposure can cause damage to the nervous system, digestive problems and in some cases cause cancer. It is especially hazardous to small children. Radon. A radioactive gas that can accumulate inside the house. It originates from the rocks and soil under the house and its level is dominated by the outdoor air and also to some extent the other gases being emitted indoors. Exposure to this gas increases the risk of lung cancer. Ozone Exposure to this gas makes our eyes itch, burn and water and it has also been associated with increase in respiratory disorders such as asthma. It lowers our resistance to colds and pneumonia. Oxides of Nitrogen This gas can make children susceptible to respiratory diseases in the winters. Health Impacts of Water Pollution It is a well-known fact that clean water is absolutely essential for healthy living. Adequate supply of fresh and clean drinking water is a basic need for all human beings on the earth. Yet it has been observed that millions of people worldwide are deprived of this. Freshwater resources all over the world are threatened not only by over-exploitation and poor management, but also by ecological degradation. Groundwater and its contamination Many areas of groundwater and surface water are now contaminated with heavy metals, pops, persistent organic pollutants and nutrients that have an adverse effect on health. Waterborne diseases and water-caused health problems are mostly due to inadequate and incompetent management of water resources. Safe water for all can only be assured when access, sustainability and equity can be guaranteed. Access can be defined as the number of people who are guaranteed safe drinking water and sufficient quantities of it. Groundwater can be contaminated through various sources and some of these are mentioned below. Pesticides Runoff from farms, backyards and golf courses contain pesticides such as DDT that in turn contaminate the water. Leachate from landfill sites is another major contaminating source. Its effects on the ecosystems and health are endocrine and reproductive damage in wildlife. Runoff from farms, backyards and golf courses contain pesticides such as DDT that in turn contaminate the water. Sewage Untreated or inadequately treated municipal sewage is a major source of groundwater and surface water pollution in the developing countries. The organic material that is discharged with municipal waste into the water resources uses substantial oxygen for biological degradation, thereby upsetting the ecological balance of rivers and lakes. Sewage also carries microbial pathogens that are the cause of the spread of disease. Chemicals in drinking water Chemicals in water can be both naturally occurring or introduced by human interference and can have serious health effects. Fluoride Fluoride in the water is essential for protection against dental caries and weakening of the bones but higher levels can have an adverse effect on health. In India, high fluoride content is found naturally in the waters in Rajasthan. Arsenic Arsenic occurs naturally 
or is possibly aggravated by overpowering aquifers and by phosphorus from fertilizers. High concentrations of arsenic in water can have an adverse effect on health. A few years back, high concentrations of this element was found in drinking water in six districts in West Bengal. A majority of people in the area were found suffering from arsenic skin lesions. It was felt that arsenic contamination in the groundwater was due to natural causes. Waterborne diseases are infectious diseases spread primarily through contaminated water. Though these diseases are spread either directly or through flies or filth, water is the chief medium for spread of these diseases and hence they are termed as waterborne diseases. Preventive measures Waterborne epidemics and health hazards in the aquatic environment are mainly due to improper management of water resources. Proper management of water resources has become the need of the hour and this would ultimately lead to a cleaner and healthier environment. In order to prevent the spread of waterborne infectious diseases, people should take adequate precautions. The city water supply should be properly checked and necessary steps taken to disinfect it. Minamata environmental contamination with methyl mercury. In Minamata, Japan, inorganic mercury was used in the industrial production of acetaldehyde. It was discharged into the nearby bay as wastewater and was ingested by organisms in the bottom sediments. Fish and other creatures in the sea were soon contaminated and eventually residents of this area who consumed the fish suffered from MEHD, methyl mercury intoxication, later known as the Minamata disease. Health impacts of noise pollution, a health hazard for seniors. Noise in and of itself can be a nuisance for everyone, but studies show that noise has a direct and immediate effect on a person's health. Let us now move to next topic, how to control environmental pollution. While modern societies face growing concern about global environmental issues, Developing countries are experiencing complex, serious and fast-growing pollution problems of their own. Environmental pollution is more than just a health issue. It is a wider social issue in that pollution has the potential to destroy homes and communities. Pollution problems are also closely tied to the mode of development in developing countries. Preventive and Remedial Measures for Air Pollution Following are the preventive and remedial measures for air pollution. Keeping the environment clean and managing the wastes with the guidelines of respective government. The exhaust from the automobiles and workshop machinery should be controlled. The ISO standards must be followed strictly for industrial usage. What you can do to reduce air pollution? Encourage your family to walk to the neighborhood market. Control of water pollution. Domestic sewage. In urban areas, domestic sewage is typically treated by centralized plants. Municipal treatment plants are designed to control board and suspended solids.
Now, in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Natural pollution occurs naturally and would not cause excessive harm to our lives due to its regeneration ability. The environment is made up of systems, cycles and specialized relationships between living and non-living elements. Soil pollution involves the contamination of soil by the release of harmful substances into the soil. Materials such as glass containers, plastic bags, paper cloth etc. can be reused at domestic levels rather than being disposed, reducing solid waste pollution. Nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus are typically applied to farmland as commercial fertilizer, animal manure or spraying of municipal or industrial wastewater effluent or sludge.